Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this little video uh, won't really help too many people. But I had a project today and I did it and it came out really simple. I have a customer that puts logos and other things in some art inside of a bicycle chain. So this is just a test, but she would put you know, we would laser something on it and she, she was using round disc, you know, cut out by the laser and then engraved then cut out and they work pretty well, but to get them tight where they don't spin, we thought about putting them into like a gear. And I have a, a gear generator program that I use all the time, but I really thought this is going to be easier just to do it in Corel Draw. So here it is. All you need is a really good caliper. And this isn't a very good picture, but all you need to make, well, once you know the size of the disc, and like hers was, you know, is 1.346 inches that fit perfectly inside here. And then all you need to do is measure the distance of this roller pin that's inside the part that's actually going to fit down in here. And that one on this particular chain was 0 0.308. So then all you have to do is just take both of them, lasso them, go up to a range, uh, align centers vertically. Well, I must have not done that. So anyway, to back up, you don't even have to do that. What you're going to need to do is get that, and I'm working out of the center of the page. We'll get it close to the edge, zoom in here, and then I've got my nudge factor set on 001. Well, no, I don't. So now you can grab it and just minutely move it. So you want it right there where it's just barely touching. Now, since I'm working in the center of the page, it makes life so much easier. So what I'm going to do is move crosshairs down, put a hit P on the keyboard, move this index line over, hit key in the keyboard, P on the keyboard. I'm going to make a duplicate, so Control D. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to put the rotation into the center. Now a lot of times it doesn't look like it goes to the center, but it it does after you leave. Okay, we've made a duplicate. This chain has ten links so we need to move this around 36 degrees control d 72 degrees and then you should just be able to hit control d again and you've got your 10 links now here's where working with the center of the page is going to help you a lot you're going to take this circle and just well, let's make a duplicate in case we mess it up. Move it out. Hit P on your keyboard. And it's almost about where I want it. You don't want it going... You really don't want this shape to start coming back. Because, you know, we're not going to be using this for real. So let's go back a little bit. P on the keyboard. Even maybe even a little bit more. P on the keyboard. Now take our inner circle away and we're going to weld this together. So lasso them all. But if you weld this normally, it's not going to work. But if you do back minus front, there's your gear. It's not really a gear. I guess it'd be a cog. And so this is where I came up with this. Uh, I hit it almost on the first try exactly. But what's so neat about one thing about Corel Draw, it was a little bit tight. I mean, it doesn't have to it was it was just too snug, the last link wouldn't quite fold around. So all you have to do Well, I messed up because I moved it. Okay, I'm at a hundred percent. I made it bigger. All you need to do, there's your original, 
and I would keep it, maybe make a duplicate of it, but change this. It's a little bit snug. I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's let's go Control D, make a duplicate of it. Let's make the new one 99%. And you can see ever so slightly how that's brought it in. I hit it on the second try. It fits, it's tight, and it's a pretty neat uh, way to do things. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.